on Kalpatia or Kalpitia and uh, it's definitely quite a bit different than uh, the Kandy area and the central uh, province of Sri Lanka. It's definitely what I would describe as kind of like the Hatteras of Sri Lanka. So you're surrounded by, by water on both sides, salt water. I assume the lagoon on the right side over here uh, is actually sort of brackish a bit. Uh, and then you got the ocean over this way, but there's basically one main road. Um, it's about two miles wide, uh, a peninsula, the peninsula that we're, we're going on here. Uh, lots of power lines, lots of big properties, lots of villas. So the beach is actually about a mile in that direction where you see those windmills. This is actually a hotel, not a villa that you're seeing here. But if you just go that direction one mile, you got the beach. So the giant Buddha statue represents the center of town in uh, Kalpatia. Alright guys, so we're checking out the Valampuri Resort this morning. I'm going to be staying here next week. Their menu looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty reasonable. It looks like they got a lot of stuff. So I'll show you guys a bit more next week when I'm staying here. But uh, yeah, it looks nice. The pool is clean, uh, beautiful grounds, um, not, too, not too busy. And yeah, it looks wonderful. They do kite surfing out of here. Got a great dock and everything. You can go sit on the dock. So looking forward to it. You guys will see more next week. So today we're going to be checking out Kite Center, which is down south of where I'm staying at near uh, downtown Calipura, California. And um, yeah, a little bit of the lagoon. Oh yeah, I probably should put my hat, helmet on because uh, I'm going into the town. <clears throat> the police are sticklers. They always ask for bribes if you're not wearing a helmet. So it's a bit annoying. So the resort that I'm going to here is called Elements. And it's a bit further south from where I was staying. But uh, you can see the whole route here. You know, I've sped it up, obviously. So on my way to the kite center and the resort, I did see that sign. And you can pause it if you're interested in staying in the area. Uh, I saw it and I was like, oh, rent. Uh, there's a whole house here. Let's see. And uh, I was going to leave. But then the lady that owns the place, uh, her name is uh, Nalicia. Very nice lady. She was actually there. And I was, she was like, oh, come on in. You know, I'll show you around. I'm like, cool. So she's just building her place. It's not finished yet but it will be for rent when she's done. Kite Center, Sri Lanka. So right here, we're just coming into the property. So you can see how big this property is. I'm still driving in the property uh, all the way to the front uh, door here, or the beach actually. Well, here we are at the reception. Uh, I'm gonna check out the beach first and the pool, see what it looks like. Then we'll head inside. Nice breeze. Clearly good kite surfing and wing foiling here. You can already tell it's a nice side shore wind. Beach is nice, blue clear water. Uh, yeah. Side on shore actually, nice. Perfect wind speed too. Some nice easy kite surfing and wing foiling. Yeah, love it. Clean beach, no garbage. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. The pool is right here, just off the beach. It's nice. This is a nice property. Elements. Sign's a bit rusted, but at night I bet it looks cool. Morning. Morning. That's Kite Center. Morning. Morning, sir. Hey, I, uh, my name is Eric. I'm looking for Marcel. You here to meet him today at 10? Uh, See you around. Did you call to him? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I didn't call him yet, no. He knows, he, that, he knows, he knows I'm coming at 10, so 
I don't know. He's probably just hanging out somewhere. Yes, he may come. So you can enjoy some tea coffee. Okay. Yes. And, uh, cool. You can sit here. Okay. And in between, I will check. With you, you. Okay. Perfect. Sounds good. Thanks. So we're at Kite Center Sri Lanka here, and I'm just going to give you guys a quick tour at this resort. It's pretty cool. But here's the Kite Center itself. Uh, they got a ton of gear here, and um, it's very well organized. It's nice, nice infrastructure for sure. Um, there's pretty much everything you'd want to rent here um, for kite surfing, wing foiling, kite foiling, everything. So, awesome place. Really nice and serene atmosphere. Got nice quiet music, a little bit of a beat. And the thing I like about this beach a lot more than some of the other beaches that I've seen in Sri Lanka is uh, the sand's a bit finer. There's no garbage, it's real clean. And probably the best part is that the water is a lot clearer. It's not super clear, but it's a lot clearer than some of the other places that have a lot of rivers flowing into the ocean. Because when you have a lot of rivers and delta areas, and the water gets uh, a bit murky and churned up. So we got some good wind today already. You guys can see the flag up there. I'm gonna be doing a, a, a wing foiling lesson or kite foiling probably. We'll see um, how it goes. I'm not sure, maybe I'll do kite foiling, maybe I'll do wing foiling. I've never tried either, but most of you guys probably don't know that I am a professional kite surfer and kite surfing instructor and I have been for like 20 years so uh you guys will get to see some of that later maybe but for today you're gonna see me struggle and struggle to learn something new that i've never tried which is riding a foil board so that'll be fun and already there's plenty of wind to kite surf out here now it's a bit humid so this wind isn't gonna have as much power as dry air but with a really, really big kite and a really big board, you could actually kite surf in this, you know, like a, like a surfboard or something like that. There's plenty of wind already today. But I think they like to, to go when it's a bit windier. It makes things a little bit easier instead of pushing the envelope. Wait until the wind actually comes. Apparently it's pretty steady. It comes in every day here. Certain times. So I'll be back here at 1 o'clock. It's 11.16 now. And then you guys will get to see me learn something new or at least attempt to learn something new. In the pool they threw me in. Great. I hope it has some lead in it so I can actually <laughs> Splashing hard. Life jacket they never roll Money wasted in this fight Lessons from the blind they right Waves of doubt just pull me down Teachers laugh said I'm my There must be there must be a way to water start these things just like windsurfing so you don't have to haul the freaking sail out of the water all right recap today uh i don't think i'm going to be wing foiling again anytime soon it's a lot of uh it's a lot of work not a lot of power if i were going to really learn it well i'd need a bigger board where i could keep my knees on the board and balance and waves for a lot longer this board basically sinks beneath me and with waves it's very difficult or i'd need a bigger wing where i can immediately get stability out of the wing um, and then the board wouldn't be rocking back so back and forth so much and i can get some directionality sooner and quicker and then i can once i'm sort of plowing through the water then i can easily get up on the board no problem so the wing is very easy to handle uh, it's just that transition if you're a smaller person on a board like this uh, it's going to be a lot easier for you than if you're my weight, 240 pounds, uh, with a smaller, smaller wing. So, um, definitely make sure you get a board that's big enough for your weight if you learn this sport. 
I think I'll get to uh, kite foiling next because the kite just has a lot more power. It's a lot less work than trying to balance on your knees perpendicular to the wind and then trying to get the, the foil up at the same time. But it was definitely worth the experience to, uh, to try doing both of these things at the, the same time. I guess technically it's not really both. I was just out here with the wing. This is just a really, really small sup board for me, basically. So there's no real foil board. Uh, it's a convertible board, so you can put a foil on it, but I didn't really get a chance to do both at the same time. Uh, but with a true foil board, it would be uh, hopefully a bit more stable with that fin under, under the water. And then on top of it, um, you know, to have a, have a chance to actually foil, but uh, that's not how they teach uh, for, for this IKO course, I guess. Uh, also, they make you wear a life jacket and a helmet. IKO has been doing that for years. Uh, which is a bit annoying. I remember when they implemented that. It's very, very disappointing and uh, absurd in most cases, especially if you've got a wing like this and you're practicing on land. It's really absurd. So, um, but that's the recap for today, guys. Uh, next video is going to be probably kite foiling. <laughs>